Hi guys. Well, it is another Monday in wet bulb. It is a cool, brisk 93 degrees. Feels like 108 degrees here on Monday, July 14th, 2024. Uh, exactly pretty much halfway through uh, at least what I consider summer to be June, July, and August. And, and the most fucking most miserable, nasty, god-awful summer uh, I have ever spent in New York. Uh, if I had known summers looked like this, I would not be living in New York. Might as well fucking stayed in Austin, Texas, where at least I, you know, could be hanging out with some goddamn uh, friends and playing some music and getting some pussy every now and then instead of dealing with this fucking bullshit. So, uh, good God, talk about dealing with fucking bullshit. You know, I, I, I guess I should have been tipped off this morning uh, when I w was up at the fucking crack of dawn to uh, rush my goddamn deathly ill dog uh, to the fucking vet. And uh, so I get Sancho loaded in in the damn car sancho has pretty much uh been uh just completely unable to walk uh the dog uh, is essentially paralyzed and has been for two fucking days so uh i get up to to deal with this fucking sick ass dog i turn on uh the the my uh pandora I have no idea what the song was. I have no idea who the singer was. It was some chick. The first words I hear uh, into my goddamn ears today at 7.30 this morning was, your best hope is to go while you're asleep. It was something like, while you're asleep or during the night, your best hope is, is, you know, is to go to bed tonight and not fucking wake up. Which is uh, the only fucking thing uh, I, I want to fucking do. Is go to fucking bed tonight and not fucking wake up. I'm sick and tired of whatever this fucking shit is that's going on with me. The, uh, the vet diagnosed me with uh, anaplasmosis. Uh, anyway, more about that in, 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 in a moment. So, uh, yeah, that is your best hope. It, it, it's my only fucking hope I have left. It, it, as far as I can see into my fucking future, it's that I, 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 I have one fucking wish. One fucking wish. I just want to go to fucking sleep tonight and not wake up uh, fucking tomorrow. It is not goddamn worth it. Oh, fuck. So, what I $436 is what I spent uh, before fucking breakfast this morning. $436 fucking dollars on this dog. And he was diagnosed uh, two and a half years ago down in Florida. Brother Aaron uh, remembers this. He was right there with me. Fucking dog was diagnosed with Lyme's disease and I think it's called anaplasmosis or something like that. Some fucking tick-borne disease. So he's had these, uh, he's been infected with two of these tick-borne diseases for years, probably more than two and a half years. Uh, but he's never shown uh, fucking symptoms until a few days ago. He started going downhill and uh, where he's essentially fucking paralyzed. And when, when I was down there today, this, uh, this, uh, this man came in freaked out like I was. This beautiful chocolate lab. It's beautiful chocolate lab. He, he said she was running around 
uh, it's identical to Sancho, that she was running around all day Saturday, swimming in the pond, uh, having a great time, and then uh, woke up yesterday morning paralyzed. Fucking dog, just like Sancho. Uh, Sancho has not taken one step. Uh, the last time Sancho took a step was Saturday night at 6 o'clock. He goes and he tries to take a step and he just falls over uh, onto his right side. His entire right side just gives out and, and, and he falls over. Uh, the, the, the dog is completely fucked. Uh, so the, uh, the, 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 the vet put him on basically tetracycline, doxycycline. Uh, for like a month, uh, swears that in two days uh, he's going to be uh, a hell of a lot better. And uh, so who the fuck knows? $450. Then I go down to the fucking uh, laundromat to do my goddamn sheets for uh, my uh, fucking uh, vacation rental business. And, and uh, I put a $10 bill, a $10 fucking dollar bill in the quarter machine. And it just fucking eats my $10. Just fucking eats it. It doesn't, no quarters. It doesn't spit it back out. $10 down the fucking toilet. Uh, I, I haven't even put my goddamn clothes in the fucking washing machine. I'm already $10 into that. $450. Uh, into the uh, in, 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 into the fucking dog and so far I am in some woman left her glasses up at Seahorse and uh, going through all of this bullshit uh, sending this woman back her uh, goddamn glasses so far it's cost me nine dollars uh, I guess I'm done with it and, and I'm quite sure it's not going to uh, to fit in the goddamn uh, mailbox now. Let's see if I can uh, stuff these glasses in the mailbox without uh, breaking this woman's glasses. All right, I am done being a fucking super host. So now, ironically, so. You know, obviously, uh, I have no fucking, uh, no fucking health insurance, no medical insurance, not one fucking penny of it uh, for myself or the dog. So I've, uh, so I've spent four hundred and fifty dollars on the dog today, and so guess where I'm going? And and I, and I don't want to hear it from anybody. I'm telling you, I'll fucking block you. Uh, if I get one fucking comment, don't do it, Ammon! Don't do it! It's the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your fucking life. No, the biggest fucking mistake I ever made in my fucking life was being born. Fucking being born. And, and, and I can't blame my mother for it. She never wanted to fucking have me. Uh, it, it was my fucking father who, who forced my mother uh, to fucking bring me onto this shithole planet dealing with this fucking bullshit. So now where I am going is uh, going up to the fucking Social Security. I've try I call these motherfuckers at Social Security. It's an hour and seven minutes is my estimated wait time. Hour and seven minutes, or it's 27 minutes to drop to drive to the fucking office. So I'm so here I am driving to fucking Ithaca uh, to go look for the oldest fucking white woman who works in this motherfucking place, and probably to be told I need to make a make an appointment. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to drop out of part B on, on, on my fucking Medicare. I always understood that you signed up for fucking part B. That part B is voluntary. And, uh, you know, before you turn 65, you sign up for part B. 
uh, you, you, you know where they take the goddamn money out of your out of your check every month and uh, part a which I guess is hospitalization is free uh, so I'm gonna leave that I guess but but part B is uh, doctor visits and medication I guess part B covers 80% of your fucking doctor visits and your prescription drugs or something like that so uh, I, right now I'm, I'm getting nine hundred dollars a month uh, nine hundred fucking dollars a month uh, out uh, from Social Security and they want to take a fucking hundred and seventy five dollar chunk out of it so I would get seven hundred and twenty five fucking dollars a month uh, for Social Security after busting my fucking ass in, in, in this goddamn system for how many fucking years so uh, I, I can get somewhere between 725 900 fucking dollars a month I read yesterday that the average Social Security check I don't know if it's average or median is almost two thousand dollars a fucking month and, and I, I'm getting less than half uh, of the fucking average part of that uh, because I took it at 62 and you, you, you know I, I grab your fucking Social Security while you still can and uh, so apparently because I took my Social Security at 62 they automatically enrolled me in Part B so it, it, it was involuntary so they act like they're doing me this great service you're already in it mr. Mitchell we've already done it for you I said you stupid motherfuckers I never wanted you to fucking do it so take me out of the motherfucker and, and uh, so anyway now I'm trying to get out a uh, 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 fucking part B uh, that, that I never realized uh, that I didn't have a fucking choice in the matter uh, but because I started getting my fucking lousy $900 a fucking month at, at 62 now they haven't they, they don't start taking the money out till September so uh, they so they uh, my August check I guess is safe but it's not the fucking hundred and seventy five dollars a month that uh, I'm talking about I understand that Medicaid will pick that up for you Hambone yes that is true Medicaid will all of these private things but there are other details that you don't know and I happen to have a fucking edit button and, and I'm not going to get in there to my fucking uh, medical and employment history but uh, I, I have no fucking choice I have no fucking choice uh, except to uh, to drop out of part B so uh, you know they're fucking I have to come sign all of the, the these fucking forms that, that you understand you, you clueless fucking moron you're, you're making the biggest fucking mistake in your fucking life uh, dropping out of uh, of your doctor visits and prescription drugs you're a clueless fucking moron and so I have to go sign my life away saying uh, I understand I'm a clueless fucking moron uh, I've got to go sign that fucking form uh, so, so, so these goddamn crooks uh, don't don't start taking my uh, you know my part B and I was telling the you know the woman at Medicare you know who, who was begging me not to do this uh, that I you know I, I said lady uh, I said I'm not gonna get into all the fucking reasons uh, I know you think that what I'm doing I'm a clueless fucking moron I said but but god damn it j just what I have dealt with and the and, and, and I and I and I haven't even started on Medicare 
what I've already been going through uh, with, with, with the goddamn medical system in this fucking country and all of this fucking paperwork and this fucking bureaucracy and, and, and all these motherfuckers holding out their fucking hand uh, to me wanting a piece of the fucking pie uh, and wanting me to get these fucking MRIs and all of this fucking bullshit. Uh, you know, I, I said I would rather be sick. I would rather just be fucking sick and, and, and take my fucking chances at the Ithaca Free Clinic and, and, and going down to motherfucking Mexico uh, once a year. To uh, I, I, I have more faith in, in the fucking Mexican uh, medical system and prescription drugs th th that I do in this shithole fucking country we, we live in. It's going to give me a fucking heart attack dealing with these motherfuckers. I want them out of my fucking life. Uh, I, I, I'm half tempted to fucking opt out of Part A. Uh, what, what, what is Part A? Hospitalization? I've never spent the night in a fucking hospital in my life. And, and I would rather be dead than spend one. I don't want your fucking hospitalization. I would rather go to the fucking morgue than your fucking hospitals. I don't give a fuck if, if you're paying 80% of it or not. You know? Uh, fuck the uh, 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 American medical system. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'm in the same goddamn straits uh, with myself as I am with my fucking dog. Uh, here I am with no fucking meta. Well, I guess starting on September 1st, I will have part A. But, but here I am uh, heading into fucking 65, sick as a fucking dog. Have a, is a, so the vet, he, he's already diagnosed me. <clears throat> He, the guy was an asshole. This fucking vet was an unbelievable asshole. I thought that motherfucker at that sawmill peanut down in Florida was the biggest fucking asshole. This guy prides himself on being a fucking arrogant fucking prick. He, he's got these cartoons all over the examining room that, that you can read uh, about uh, assholes, about... Uh, how funny it is to be a fucking asshole and, and about fucking asshole doctors with uh, you know the bedside manner of uh, a, 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 of a fucking sadist uh, the, 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 this motherfucker uh, I mean unbelievable and bragging about what an asshole he, he's wearing it uh, like a fucking badge Jesus fucking Christ dealing with that fucking asshole uh, handing over 450 fucking dollars to that motherfucker uh, for a little bottle of fucking tetracycline uh, that would have cost three fucking dollars uh, down there in Mexico. Uh, and, and, and uh, you know, he's talking about it and, and he's cracking jugs. He goes, he goes, you know, listening to my voice, he, and, you know, I kept coughing, and, and, and he goes, damn, uh, he goes, you look like you're in worse shape than the dog, and uh, so then he, you know, he diagnoses Sancho with these fucking tick-borne diseases, and, and, and he said, and he, and he said, dude, uh, he, he goes, you know that you, uh, he goes, your fucking dog uh, has two of these things. You've told me uh, that you, uh, that, that, that he's had these things for two and a half fucking years. You live up here in the fucking woods. You know, he was the guy who pulled that bot fly out of uh, Sancho's belly last summer. Uh, he goes, you come in here last year, I, I, I'm pulling goddamn bot flies uh, out of your dog's stomach. Uh, you, you live up here in the woods in New York, and then you tell me you spend half the year in a swamp in Florida? He, he goes, I can tell you right now, motherfucker, you've got anaplasmosis and Lyme's disease too, probably, and, and probably a couple of more of them. Uh, I said, is that part of your $450 uh, bill for my fucking dog? And he told me it was free. 
uh, that I've that I've got every fucking uh, tick-borne disease that my fucking dog does. <coughs> <coughs> And I don't fucking deny it. What the fuck am I going to do about it? Oh, I guess when I get down to fucking Mexico, I, I, I'll take tetracycline. You know, I've had Lyme's disease before. And I just took fucking tetracycline for like a fucking month. But, but, you know, in, 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 anyway, I, just fuck all of this bullshit. You know, just as that uh, woman said, uh, turn on the fucking radio. Your best hope is, is to fucking go to sleep tonight and, and fucking die and, and just never wake up. You know, it, it's what I told the woman at Medicare. And, and I'm going to tell the same thing to the woman at Social Security. When, when, when she goes off, uh, off on me. Uh, I'm just gonna say, well, I, I just hope I get, uh, I, I just hope to, uh, that I fucking die uh, b before I ever need fucking uh, Medicare Part B, because I would rather be fucking dead than, than, than work with you motherfuckers. Goddamn Mexico, you get fucking sick, you get fucking hurt, you go to the fucking doctor, uh, it, it, it'd be surprised if it cost you ten fucking dollars. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, this fucking shithole country. I mean, anyway, I have got to wrap this up because I don't know where the fucking Social Security office is in this goddamn town. And I got to get on my robot to go deal with this fucking bullshit. So I was sitting there in line for an hour, so they tell me I need to make an appointment. Uh, get out there and enjoy the fucking American medical system while you still can. And I mean it, I, I don't want to hear a fucking comment from any of you uh, about what a fucking clueless moron I am dropping Part B of my Medicare. Okay, it's not a very original comment. Bye, guys.